Hey everybody, this is Devin. We've talked about a lot of different ways that you can get experience as a web developer without a job. We've talked about picking up freelance gigs, we've talked about contributing to open source projects, and we've talked about doing personal projects. Maybe you want to exercise your coding muscles in a way that also brings more good into the world. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can find some web development volunteering opportunities. Let's go. Here are the four best places I found to find volunteer gigs for web developers. The first one is Volunteer Match. I'll give you this link that takes you straight to the computers and technology listing. That category is pretty broad, so you're going to find a lot of things here that won't be a good fit. For example, this electrical engineer role may not be for you. UI UX might not be your bag. But if you keep scrolling, you will find some that are probably a good fit. Here is a React JS project manager. That might be a little bit too senior. Here you've got a JavaScript developer. That could be a good fit. A website developer. So as you can see, there are some good opportunities on here, like website developer and website development but you will have to search for them a little bit. I couldn't find a way to filter any more narrowly than that to what we're looking for. The next site is the UN Volunteers site. If you'd like to volunteer for the United Nations, this is the site for you. You can see they don't have very many opportunities, but it looks like they have some pretty good ones. I will link you to this page, which is for web opportunities. You can see here, create a WordPress website, configuration and maintenance of Amazon Web Services, website design and management. A lot of these could be a good fit. And if you click through to one of the opportunities, they give you a lot of great information. They talk about what they're trying to do. They give you the number of volunteers they need, the number of hours per week and weeks they would like you to commit, and then their requirements. The next site is Idealist. This looks a lot like a traditional job board. I have filtered us down to virtual opportunities, and I'm looking in the technology support and web design category, which again is fairly broad. But if you scroll through here, you can see a lot of opportunities that might be good for web developers, like this one, help improve access to city services via sf.gov website research. That might not be so much development, but it sounds like it maybe is about uh, UX. And there are pages and pages of these opportunities. So even though you're going to have to filter a lot of these out, there's a good chance you will find something that will work for you. Let's take a look at this one, Volunteer Website Assistant. That one looks like it might be a good fit. You can expand to learn about this opportunity. And in much the same way as a traditional job board, these descriptions are written by whoever posted the gig, so they may give different information depending on who is writing it. This one gives you the job purpose, duties and responsibilities, and a list of qualifications. This last site I wanted to talk about, I wanted to mention, even though I think it might have the lowest signal-to-noise ratio, this is the volunteer subreddit. And you can, uh, I'm actually going to link you to this subreddit filtered for the opportunity flare. So you're only going to be looking at postings of volunteer opportunities. This board is very broad. You can post any sort of volunteering opportunity here. So you may have to scroll a fair bit in order to see what you're looking for. You can also search, although I don't know how effective that's going to be. Let's try this. Then we can just show results from the volunteer subreddit. Yeah, it's not super effective because we're no longer sorted or we're no longer filtered by flare. And that's what allows us to look at just opportunities. So now we're looking at any post on this subreddit that says web developer. You might have better luck this way rather than just looking through all of the opportunities for web development opportunities. Already off the bat, I've seen this one, although it was posted three months ago, this might be a case where you'd want to sort, sort by new. You could volunteer to help run a virtual hackathon for Black Girls Code. Online mentoring here. 
I assume that's some sort of web development opportunity, although I'd have to click in to see. Here's looking for a web development volunteers. That one again is three months ago, so you may not be able to go down too far in this list. And even though I'm focusing on remote opportunities, you don't want to discount local nonprofits that might be able to benefit from your help. You could go to a site like this one, greatnonprofits.org, and you can search for nonprofits near where you are. You can filter by what issue they're trying to address, and then you can scroll through this list and reach out to them to ask if there's any way you can help. I personally have done some web development work locally for a food bank and for another organization that gives aid to people who are having financial struggles. You might find it's much more effective to get your foot in the door if you can actually call the organization and let them know that you are a part of the community in which they are doing their work. Okay, those are four different places you can go to try to find opportunities to volunteer while also flexing your web development skills. Get out there and do some good. Thanks, and I'll talk to you in the next one.